Hello, and welcome to my ongoing series, Roblox Myths Explained. In this series, I focus on a specific Roblox myth and cover everything that you need to know about them. So, yeah. So, in today's Roblox Myths Explained episode, I will be talking about the grocery gang and everything you need to know about them. Also, I would like to give credit to the Robloxian Mid Hunters Wiki for giving me information about the mid case that I'll be talking about. So, without further ado, let's begin. Grocery Gang is a Roblox Mid group that is currently owned by Amazook with almost 100 members. The group also has 14 available ranks. The members of the Grocery Gang are mainly based around original companies or parody companies. Their description reads, Mr. Grocery Gang, gift card apply. There isn't too much that I can write for the summary, so yeah. That's all I have regarding a summary of the Grocery Gang, now let's get into their history. So, Grocery Gang was founded in early to mid 2018 and was initially a meme group based around a grocery cart in the middle of the desert. That's a fun mental image. However, in early 2019, the group's focus changed into being a surrealist joke myth. After this, the group was founded and investigated by Roblox YouTuber Flamingo in mid 2019. I remember the videos he uploaded about them. This caused their popularity to skyrocket and made them one of the most popular Roblox myths to date. As of writing this, Grocery Gang is more of a p quote parody myth than an actual Roblox myth. That's all I have regarding their history. Now let's get into Grocery Gang's ranks. As mentioned earlier in this video, the Grocery Gang Roblox group has around 14 ranks as of June 2020. Again, there were three levels of ranks. Low ranks, medium ranks, and high ranks. The levels of ranks weren't listed on the Roblox Emit Hunters wiki, so I'll try to do it myself. I'll assume the low ranks consist of the following. Delivery, Worker, and Good Worker. The delivery rank is given to either the newer or less active Grocery Gang members. The list goes as follows. Maurice Vuitton, Broke Busters, Bricky Little, Vegetable Sealer, Rom Command, M Macrosoft, The Moon Champion, and finally, Chinese Internet. The worker rank is only given to one member, that user being Big X Cheese. The third and final level of the low ranks, good worker, are given to people that are currently investigating the grocery gang. The rank is given to the following people. Malmax, Denzel Rogers, Mr. Flim Flam, Ardite, Coldism, JokerKid5898, Tempest, and Loloriz. Now, the medium ranks, I assume, consists of the following. Eggman, Egg God, Closing Man, Investigator, and Letters. The Eggman rank is given to people that are affiliated with Eggmart, which is Egg Traveler, a supposed parody of Alone Traveler. The next rank, Egg God, is given to the owner of Eggmart, which is Egglemart. The next rank, Closing Man, is given to Adequate Power 6. The next rank, Investigator, is given to the people that are trying to find Picasso. This rank has only been given to one person, however, which is Missing Investigator. The final rank in the medium level, however you pronounce this, is given to Home Video, Exalted Moon, and WatcherBot. Just so you know, the rank's name translates to Enhanced. Finally, we have the high ranks, which I assume consists of the following. Brand, Fab Brand, Prisoner 1, Free Shipping, Number Guy, and Box. The brand rank is given to brands associated with Grocery Gang. Only one brand has this rank, which is Filtco. The next rank, Fabbrand is given to a lone traveler in Santa Claus. The next rank, Prisoner 1, is given to the user named Amazon, who has been terminated as of mid-March 2020. The next high rank, Free Shipping, is given to people who ship items for free. However, no one has this rank, therefore making it empty. The next high level rank, Number Guy, is given to 74J, the former owner of Grocery Gang. The final high level rank, Box, is given to Amazook the current owner of Grocery Gang. That concludes everything about the group ranks, now let's move on to their associated games. I was going to do a section on former members, but there is too many members so I couldn't do it. Anyways, Grocery Gang has around 11 associated games, all with different purposes. I'll only talk about 3 of their associated games to save time. The first game, Make a Friend, is a game created by 74J on February 21st, 2015. It has accumulated over 603,000 visits as of June 11, 2020. 
So, from what I saw, there were a lot of conveyors that produced something called friends. Inside the house, there's a huge ball called Lord that you have to feed him friends. Albert has covered this game in a video, so go watch that one. Overall, Make a Friend is a weird but interesting game. It's definitely worth checking out in my opinion. The second game, Amazook Employee Application Center, now hiring, is a game created by Grocery Gang and is a parody of an Amazon warehouse, I'm assuming. Anyways, the game has accumulated over 10,500 visits as of June 11, 2020. Basically, this is a place where you apply to work at Amazook, and if you do well, you'll get accepted and become a worker for Amazook. So, it turns out I was wrong about the, the Amazook hiring place. It turns out I could access the game, like, it was basically, like, what happened is that at the game is an, at, like, you just apply for Amazook and, like, put answers to, to various questions like you do in a regular application. However, like, once I finished the last question, I couldn't move forward since, like, the, the submit application button, like, was inaccessible to me, but yeah. Basically, you apply for the, for the job, and that, that's all I have on Amazook Hiring Place. The third and final game I'll be reviewing, The Ruins of Depot City, is a game created by Homey Depot, which is a parody of Home Depot. The game's description reads, I once proud city, now in ruins. Things that were kept secret are no longer secret. The game has accumulated over 1,000 visits as of June 11, 2020. I decided to go into the game and see what it contains myself. I gotta say, I was pretty surprised. The game was basically an abandoned city with a lot of terrain and rust. I, I was able to go to the edge of the map and see the whole city myself. There is a sign that said this city was a failure. It mentioned the mentions of homie all around the map. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say for now. I might talk more about the game in the future, but yeah. That's all I have regarding the associated games. Now let's move on to Grocery Gang Trivia. As always, trivia are just facts relevant enough to be mentioned. I won't mention all the Grocery Gang Trivia, so I'll just stick with the most important trivia, so here we go. Most of the Grocery Gang members speak broken English, if it wasn't obvious enough already. We also type in all caps as well, as seen in their usernames and the group name. The group icon is a reference to shopping carts seen in grocery stores. The names of some of the group's more important members are plays on the names of different companies. Some of these include Amazook, a play on the company Amazon, Wikipedia, a play on the company Wikipedia, and Homey Depot, a play on the company Home Depot. Some of the grocery gang members are dedicated to finding an entity named Picasso. The members themselves have confirmed that Picasso is not a reference to the famous artist, but is something entirely different. Missing Investigator is the member most dedicated to finding Picasso. Picasso is also somehow linked to the vending machines found in Grocery Gang games. As of January 6, 2020, 12 members have left the Grocery Gang and some of those members have made their own groups, such as Fiddlepat who made a group called Worm Hub. Finally, many of the Eggmen have names that are play on various Roblox myths. The most famous example is Egg Traveler, which is most likely a reference to the Roblox myth Alone Traveler. That's everything I have regarding Grocery Gang Trivia, let's now wrap this video up. So, Grocery Gang is a parody Roblox mid group with around 96 members. It is currently owned by Amazook, they are dedicated to working and f parodying famous companies, and that's everything. If you found this video enjoyable, entertaining, or informative, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel more for more videos like this. I plan to post two videos per week now since I want to make them better than before. <coughs> and I also want to take more time to edit my videos and to make them longer so that you guys have more content to watch. We've recently hit reached 400 subscribers, so thank you for that. I've officially surpassed my old channel that had 400 subscribers before I de deleted it due to not being happy with how I got to 400 subscribers. I've now earned them legitimately and I can finally be happy with myself. Also, I'm gonna be live streaming more often. I won't do it every day, but I'll live stream when I feel like it. So I'll post one to two videos per week. I'll live stream more often, and that's everything. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Goodbye, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode of Roblox Myths Explained.